Hey there, a big congratulations to all you expecting moms out there. As you wait for your baby, your body undergoes a plethora of changes. The ever-growing baby bump, morning sickness, cramps and aches are sometimes too much to bear. Your skin and hair will also transform. While you might be waiting for your pregnancy glow, all you see in the mirror is dark, patchy skin. This is called melasma and commonly occurs during pregnancy. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to deal with melasma during pregnancy. Can it go away after delivery? What is a melasma mustache? How effective is lemon on this? Let's begin. What exactly is melasma? Our skin gets its color from cells called melanocytes. These are embedded in the skin structure and produce pigments that give a specific color to your skin. During pregnancy, these cells produce extra pigments in particular areas, darkening the skin. Doctors have also called it the mask of pregnancy, or cloasma. But don't panic, this alteration is just cosmetic. Your tiny tot is doing just fine in your belly. Having melasma in no way will lead to any complications with the baby. So why do you have it and not other pregnant women? People with darker skin will have more melanin production than the rest. As a result, your chances of getting melasma are greater. But the good news is you are not alone in this. About 50 to 70% of women develop melasma during pregnancy, regardless of skin tone. Your body experiences a surge of estrogen during pregnancy. These hormones are the primary reasons behind melasma. An already existing condition before pregnancy tends to worsen with pregnancy. The role of genetics in melasma also needs to be considered. That means if your mother or your sisters had it during their pregnancies, the likelihood of you getting it increases. Have you noticed any change in your skin during pregnancy? Do you want your pre-pregnancy skin back? Share your thoughts with the Bestie community in the comments below. What does melasma look like? Hyperpigmentation of the skin during pregnancy is a very common thing. As your pregnancy advances, you'll notice changes in certain areas. You'll usually find them darkened. A thin line extending from the genitals to the belly starts becoming darker. Your overall skin tone might darken a shade or two. Melasma develops on the face as dark patches. They are seen mainly on the forehead, cheeks, chin, nose, and lips. If you're noticing redness or soreness, you likely have a bacterial infection. It's not advised to treat these conditions on your own. Contact a dermatologist ASAP. Melasma can give you a mustache. Yes, you heard that right, but not like a super hairy one. This is a hairless mustache. When melasma typically affects the upper lip region, it's called a melasma mustache. The melasma mustache has a striking resemblance to a real one. Around 15 to 50% of mothers face it at some point. This is an absolutely painless condition. Women often lose confidence with skin changes like this and conceal it with makeup before stepping out. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. At what stage of pregnancy does melasma set in? Melasma sets in during the second or third trimester, but don't be alarmed if you see some dark spots developing during your first. While rare, it is possible. What are some factors that worsen melasma? Melasma has been called a photoaging disorder. This means the condition worsens after exposure to the sun. The melanocytes view sunlight as a trigger factor and produce too much melanin pigment. This is our skin's protective mechanism. The ultraviolet radiation from the sun is the real culprit here. Perhaps getting a tan at the beach isn't such a great idea after all. UVA and UVB rays of the sun should be blocked. Scoot under a large umbrella or pick a spot under a tree. Avoid going out in peak sunny hours, especially noon. Choose hours that are less sunny, like mornings or evenings. Factors that cause melasma include hormonal pills, thyroid, and anticonvulsant drugs. Working near a hot stove could also be a trigger for some women. Researchers also believe that a few cosmetics and creams have a reaction when exposed to the sun. This phototoxic reaction may also trigger melasma. We know you never signed up for these types of surprise reactions. That's why new moms should check out 19 things you come to terms with during pregnancy. What if you have to go out? Well, then you'll have to slather large amounts of sunscreen before heading out. Just make sure you use the right kind. SPF of 30 plus is considered to be a pregnancy safe sunscreen. There are again two types of sunscreen with any SPF. Always choose the one with physical blockers like zinc, titanium, or other minerals. The chemical blockers are considerably less effective than the physical blockers. Dress up even if it's hot. 
Loosely fitted, full sleeve clothing will keep you covered and protected from the harmful sun rays. Protective clothing like SPF rash guards or UV protection can be used. Wearing full pants and long gowns will also help. Put on a hat, preferably a wide-brimmed one to cover your face. Do not forget to team it up with a pair of sunglasses. Get the retro style back by going for a bigger size. Will melasma go away after you deliver the baby? This is probably something you've been wondering while watching this video. Well, the answer is yes. The process might take time, but be patient. After delivering the baby, the body starts returning to its normal condition. Your spiked hormones also decrease. Because of this, you're no longer going to produce more melanin. It might take months to lighten the dark spots until they fade away. So how can you treat this condition from home? Number one, citrus face packs. Freshly squeezed lemon with some cucumber juice helps to remove the top layer of pigmented skin. Apple cider vinegar mixed with water can be used as a toner over darker areas. Both mixtures have the same result on pigmented skin. Number two, honey and oatmeal mix. These can be used as a face pack or mild exfoliator. It can lighten and cleanse your skin at the same time. Number three, soy and licorice. Studies have also shown the use of these two in treatment of melasma. Which skincare products and cosmetics are best suited for melasma? Cosmetics are great, but you have to be mindful when choosing cosmetics during pregnancy. If you have melasma, harsh chemicals can lead to abnormalities in pigment and irritate the skin. Only gentle products should be used on deeply pigmented skin in order to avoid any kind of trauma. Choose your face wash, cleansers, toners, and makeup material thoughtfully. Read the labels and choose products that mention sensitive skin perfume or fragrance-free. Eat, sleep, work, repeat. Giving your body rest for at least eight hours a day will make you feel less fatigued, especially during pregnancy. Take frequent breaks and small naps when you're tired. Diet changes like eating fresh fruits and vegetables, staying hydrated, and eliminating junk food will also give you a boost. These changes will normalize hormonal imbalances and prevent the progression of this condition. Studies have shown that anemic women have a greater chance of suffering from melasma. Be sure to add iron and B12-rich foods like dark green vegetables, beans, dry fruit, and red meats into your diet. Supplements can also be taken. Consult a certified dermatologist. In case of severe symptoms, you need to get to a dermatologist. Many topical medications have proven to be very effective in treating melasma. Your doctor is the best person to advise you on clinical procedures like laser lightning treatment and chemical peels. Every mother wants nothing but the best for her child. If you're one of those mothers, make sure to watch our video on how pregnancy is affected by music. Also watch our video on 11 foods and drinks you should avoid during pregnancy, or how about 12 super veggies you should be eating. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch them all and learn more about how to become healthier. Have you tried any home remedies for melasma? Let us know in the comments below.